Hi everyone, welcome to the Matrix Oracle. My name is Audrey. I am your host for this Capricorn season forecast, tarot reading, oracle. So let's do this. We're going to review each element for all the zodiac signs. So we're going to start with Earth. Yes, Capricorn baby. And then we're going to cover water, fire, and air. So you can just go and skip ahead to your personal zodiac sun sign and um yeah get some messages all right the earth sign so capricorn happy birthday by the way taurus and virgo what do we have upcoming for you december 22nd to january 2024 so how are we going to kick start um this beginning of the year but also how we're going to end first <laughs> 2023. Okay, so this one is sticking out and wants to come forward and talk. All right, so let's see what we have for this first card. Okay, the Seven of Earth. This is the Seven of Pentacles. This is about waiting and seeing something grow. Okay, so there might be something that right now you currently have your eyes on. I heard some type of prize for some of you. There's a goal, there's a dream, there's something that wants to be achieved, okay? Uh, but it's growing. I am seeing that this is actually a fairy. So it could be more of a dream, maybe something that it, it, you're longing for, your purpose. I wouldn't be surprised. That would be also something connected to this because you guys know that I kind of illustrate all my cosmic news uh, with my reels or my YouTube shorts and um, for Capricorn season this is about you know not playing small anymore and it's about playing and making a difference and just you know innovating there's just a lot that wants to come forward so this is where I feel there could be this phase where the beginning of the season okay uh, the first two weeks where we're still in 2023 and the second two weeks where in 2024 there's a shift there's a shift in um the way we're perceiving maybe ourselves and now shifting into something different let's see what else oh yeah oh yeah and i like that we have so much earth for you ace of earth ace of pentacle there is definitely some old leaf i was wondering is it a butterfly is it a bird <laughs> the plane <laughs> Audrey um but no it is some type of leaves that are in the colors that show more fall so there was maybe something that had to fall off maybe a habit of thinking some type of emotion that had to fade that had to fade away so you could see more clearly this vision okay so there could be a different type of offering. So I feel this is where, you know, there's those two phases that seem to be very clear, those next two weeks where you're still shedding, shedding, shedding certain things that need to support you. Now, this is very interesting because I'm getting messages from my ring. This is Ember, okay? And this vibrates so much to it. And this connects very strongly to the ancestors. I feel there was probably some type of karma, some type of, um, you know, ancestral DNA family baggage or something that had to be worked through, worked out. And that you're literally resolving and ending by the end of this year. Okay, so there's a, a renewal definitely for earth signs that are coming forward here. Okay, the Empress came reversed. Mm. Let me, oh, well, actually, it's the Emperor. I got mistaken. <laughs> um, it's a lion, but it, it's... Okay. <coughs> All right. First, there's something going on with the throat. Definitely. Um, there's something about pride. Okay, between maybe the emperor and the empress, there might have been something about duality in um, gender roles or just position of thinking with your mind versus your heart. Okay, and that might be still something that you're 
working through the number four when you study the angles of the zodiac it actually is where we have right now the chiron placement so there could have been some chironic wound okay and by the way if that's something that you want to get support to work through i have the wounded healer playlist where you can use your personal um, Chiron placement and go and rebalance it with the frequency. This is all using gratitude mantras to support this type of wound. We all carry it. It's something that is ancient, you know, and it could be also related to ancestors and you came forward to alleviate this, okay? And I'm going to keep this card now upright because I feel that this is what we needed to talk about. Some of you, there might have been um, some communications that was constrained in the past or there was some arguments, but it feels like it's opening up as you allow yourself to drop certain layers of it, the ego. Because I thought there was the Empress, but then a, this strong Leo face came and it came more as prideful. And then I saw the Emperor and I was, I was seeing the duality between, um, you know, maybe the roles and what you know, uh, someone could think they are or what they attach as a label to themselves, okay? So there can be some transcending of certain beliefs here. I feel there's one more card for this phase and for this message, this particular message. Okay, the seven of water in the reverse. Let's work through this energy. Seven of water, okay? Um, this is definitely a lot of options, I associate this card with quantum leaping and timelines, okay? There could have been many uh, past lives that could have played and acted as, you know, maybe lessons that you needed to master in this life. Um, there's definitely messages that there could have been also illusions with the water element, with the cups, uh, maybe some addictions because all of a sudden I start seeing all the cups in front of me and I start feeling maybe substance or like alcohol, uh, something that would alter maybe your initial path. So it's, we're going to keep it upright, upright because there's some, there's some clarity that is coming up for earth signs here. So Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo for Capricorn season. December 22nd to January 20th, 2024. Um, as far as what makes them unique? What makes you unique? What is your purpose? And it's growing, but it had to go through um, really seeing some of the gifts that life handed to you by letting this type of fallout, falling out, falling out maybe with some people, but also shedding uh, layers of what you thought you were. There is here this duality between maybe conflict between feminine and masculine principles that were um, a struggle in the past, especially because of pride, because of um, ego um, fears ba based, you know. And that kind of gave a lot of different ways to perceive what could the future be, but in ways that didn't feel fulfilling, okay? It just feels like there was just confusion in the past. So those two weeks here, let's get a, a, a goddess Kali uh, message for this first two weeks, because this is what I feel is showing us, is that you're still shedding and it's a great time for you to activate your spiritual powers, and Kali is very connected to Kundalini awakening. So let's see how we can um, get some support here. Oh, I knew this card was coming. It's been coming up a lot in my goddesses, awakening the wild feminine readings. By the way, that's something that is still available until the end of this year. So for the next two weeks, if you're interested, go and check out the description box, you guys. Um, this is about uh, knowing what to allow and what to fight for or against because it requires wisdom. 
So here Kali is the fearlessness, the wisdom, the patience and discipline required to conquer a difficult situation. So you probably had, you know, uh, earth signs uh, gone through quite a lot in 2023, especially because we're on that verge of going to something more exciting that I felt for you. But the excitement comes because of what you've achieved here and what you're finishing on achieving here. It says... Shamunda, which is that form of Kali expression, is the power to accomplish what you need and desire. She is with you now. Her presence now pretends to a truly exceptional breakthrough on your path. Okay, so be, be really patient and mindful because whatever you have that is going on now, we also have a Mercury retrograde for this phase. <laughs> I'm just being reminded here, okay? So there's probably a lot of preparation to shift some layers of your awareness, some major actually breakthrough. So there's something greater that can come forward, okay? So let's move on, okay, shall we, into the next two weeks. So the last two weeks of that Capricorn season, how things are evolving for you. See, I didn't know what type of spread I was going to do, but Capricorn, Taurus, and <laughs> Virgo are just like, it's just spell it out for me. There's just something, okay, when I just like joked about this, there might be also a, some type of tendency for the earth element to want things to be spelled out for you, okay? Um, you're going to get this, but I feel it's going to be in a different form and especially it's going to come through the sacred feminine. Something you have to start being comfortable with, okay? All right, so we had the transformation that came in the reverse. This is the death card and it comes just here. Now, let's speak about this. Okay, when we have cards that come reversed, it means that, and especially when we're going through timelines, okay? Here I'm like projecting in the next two weeks of that season. So past on the third week. This is showing me that this needs to occur. And this is almost like a, a, a breakthrough that in order to get to the next level, you need to occur. You need to master and have. So I'm going to do something different here because... I want to put it upright and I want to use another deck, which is more of my shadow deck. This is more of the intuitive night goddess tarot. And I want to ask, okay, <laughs> all right. I want to ask, what does the earth signs here need to make sure that they have this transformation? Okay, so we have the, we have three cards. We have the mystic. Okay, so this is the hierophant. I'm going to spread it here, okay, so we can have uh, some view here. And here, this is what I feel is more my usual spread, where this is the hard mind coherence. This is the higher fin. There's two keys, and you see two colors, feminine and masculine. So, And it's interesting that I'm putting this here, because there's something about integrating feminine and masculine that is very important for you, Earth sign. And that means being able to act based off your feelings towards what you want. Develop more of your feelings towards what you want to achieve as a goal. If the goal was to be money, okay, think about what the money brings you as an emotion and practice that emotion and see what can bring you that emotion as maybe a visual, uh, maybe a song, maybe an art, a craft, uh, a sport, whatever. Just let the feeling of your goal inspire you. So you get the ideas, especially here in the mind. Look at this. You have the witch. This is the magician. So there is a transformation of how you need to think. Uh, you need to think. Now, the four of cups for the feminine came in the reverse. Okay. And I feel this is where, this is where there was some lack. There was a, a, a there was maybe 
an empty tank. Some of you, maybe you didn't have any more fire or passion, or it was on and off, okay? And when that happens, it's because there's not, you see here this, this face of discontentment? It's almost as if like, hey, I'm not going to play with you because you're not playing fair, okay? It's almost as two kids, you know, a little boy and a little girl. And it's like, mm, not playing. No, I'm keeping my cup and you guys can play. So it's like, you can play. You can play and you can try to create this dream, this purpose without me. But mm, don't think so. So we need to make sure for this, you see, because there's an emotional part. This is why you need to re rehearse more of your emotional fulfillment and intelligence versus just the mind. Even the mind has the witch, which is all about alchemy, transmutation, working with elements. It's not tangible. It's not tangible. So this is what we have here as a condition as far as your transformation and what needs to occur uh, for you to enter 2024. Okay, let's see then. All right, I feel so much better. <laughs> when we work those things through okay let's see here up oh. okay let me see that we have the sun okay the sun i kind of like flipped it in the weird ways so we're going to talk about it because this is about illumination and that means don't be scared of the light some of you you might want to research the term from carl Jung, the golden shadow and I'm not going to tell you more because if you're interested and you're really committed, you're going to look for this because this is something that will maybe help you alleviate some of the fears that you have towards your shadow work, towards going towards the hidden, the unknown of the witch, the alchemist, the magician in you. But this is something that is very powerful and that wants to come forward. You have major arcanas. So this is, this is what I felt at the beginning. This was big. This was big for you. There's a shift in who you are. You're becoming the sun. This is, this is major consciousness shift. Okay. This card also came reverse. And it's interesting because, again, this is what it feels. It's like it's a progression and it requires your investment Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo, because then you have the fool. But that means that here, if I put to those cards here, we're resisting transformation. We're resisting letting entering the light in the places that hurt. And with this fool, there's no new beginning because we're just repeating a phase where with the seven of pentacles, we feel stagnant. So some of you, if you've been feeling that this year was stagnant, okay, or was just on and off, or just was hard to work through. There is in this phase of time, and remember, there's a shift also with Mercury, so there's some things to review for those next two weeks, but there is at the end of the season of Capricorn, the last two weeks of Capricorn, where you can make a big leap, a quantum leap in uh, something that is almost like a brand new start. That's how I could just define it. This is just a brand new start and look at this i love how this ends because it's the eight of wands this is communication with the divine but look at this do you see Oof, i get chills everywhere down my legs my legs the legs move you forward both legs both actually now i'm feeling in my feet as well okay because i feel this little vision it just exploded and so much more and some of it, it's just with you already. So it's just like an expansion of a new, brand new world. Because in this deck, the Good Tarot, this is very much about exploration for this um, Eight of Wands, Eight of Fire. There's, and, and what I love, ooh, I love this, because you see the panda, you have overcome that, you know, uh, maybe in the past, lack of ability to, be in coherence between your heart and mind. Be feeling the feelings of your dreams or whether you have that clear vision or not, okay? And I felt that I needed this and, I, and I'm adding it. The higher fan. This is almost like a beautiful, beautiful marriage. Marriage of the soul, 
of your soul of emerge um yeah i <laughs> I, I'm going to pull that last Kelly card because I feel this is very much in resonance. The goddess wants to speak, okay? And it says here, there is not always a need to try to grapple and conquer. Sometimes the need is simply to let go just because another has created a certain reality for themselves and is attempting to draw you in. It does not mean that you need to participate, you have the divinely granted gift of choosing where to invest your energy, but first be kind to yourself. So when you're kind to yourself, maybe some of you in the past, you were letting other people's desires, choices, preferences, kind of influence how you navigated life. But this is a time where you're going to call back. So much power because you're going to work this relationship from within first. I love this for you, Earth Signs. Thank you so very much. Please don't forget to like those videos. It supports the channel to grow. I'm sending you many blessings and much love and light. Namaste. Water Signs. What do we have for you, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun? Let's see what do we have for Capricorn season. All oh, my water signs, December 22nd, 2023 to January 20th, 2024. Why did I do this? Okay. All right. We're starting with this. <laughs> so from what happened with the earth element, there was a channeling first of the first two weeks and then the last two weeks of that period of time, okay? So let's see what we have first. Usually those cards from the bottom of the deck are shadows. So I'm not surprised here. Water element is very much about the intuition, the subconscious, the emotional waters. So what's going on here? We have the eight of air that came reverse. And we have the hermit. Upright. Okay. So how we're starting this? Let's talk about this. <laughs> All right. Sit down. Okay. I feel like it's a little bit of a psychotherapy, psychoanalysis. I would say you had to really work on your mental health here. Okay. Um, as far and, and continue to do so. You're encouraged for the next two weeks, especially because at that time, Mercury is going to be retrograde my little water signs, okay? And that means a lot of your mental prisons with the eight of swords. What was unclear to you? Maybe things that were unclear and that kept you from achieving your goals, kept you from getting what you felt you deserved. You're in the process and the next two weeks are announcing that it is highly beneficial for you to spend more time with yourself. And I'm seeing all those keys. Because I feel like you're going to have not one revelation. Many, many things are going to kind of like, like a little domino effect. As if there, there's just some type of very potent unlocking. Ooh, I got chills down my legs. So especially on the right side, so masculine side, mental prisons. Um, I would say even unleashing of your power because it feels that maybe there was uh, already a lot of emotional awareness, especially as a water zodiac sign, sun sign, okay? But as far as the mental, as far as the things that kept you locked, that kept you caged, there's some things that are going to be revealed. Can I have a little, I'm going to give, get the goddess night of the night intuition or what is the intuitive night goddess? Sorry. <laughs> I, I want a little bit more to elaborate on this because it came first. It came to the shadow. We had Sagittarius season, but we had a very powerful, important Scorpio season. So we're not far from this. Okay. So let's see what we have. Five of wands. You had to look a little bit at yourself and how maybe you were, I'm hearing shooting yourself in the foot. It's almost like uh, some type of uh, doing something because of the wants. It's, uh, you know, 
an energy forward, doing something and then retracting. There's a back and forth, back and forth, okay, movement. And it was created because of this. Oh, wow. Okay, introspection. Yeah. And again, the hermit card, like yaza. <laughs> Okay, some of you, you've been with me for a while and you see this torch. It's not like, a, this is not even a torch here. This is like, you had to work on your aura. You had some negativity, whether it was self-inflicted. There's a lot of self-inflicted negativity, but some of us, you know, some of you, there's, there's reasons why. And you had to go inside and look at why um, there was maybe this tendency to self-sabotage. Okay, I got the word self-sabotage okay five of pentacles there was something here especially with this one Oof, i get chills just thinking about this um in a great way there was just something you were not seeing there was something you were not seeing maybe a tendency let me receive that for you It's, it's a tendency, it's just so much there, there's so much, it just feels like it could have been something very old, a tendency from your childhood trauma, from some childhood negative conditioning, putting others first with the pentacles, you know, the next level is the six of pentacles, where we balance in our receiving and giving, you know, but there's also, I feel also the water element, because probably of your energy with the five of water, of cups, is that, that lack, that sense of we're not seeing the blessing. And I feel that you are not seeing your potential because all your light was going more outward. There was some hyper focus on outward. And that means that it's not surprise. A lot of empath, okay, especially with traumas, they're inclined to hyper develop hyper vigilance towards things that can be a threat. And that means outside of them. Okay. So we're removing that. I love this. And that's how, how we're entering. So you're probably in that phase, water signs, as I'm channeling this, because I'm channeling this. We're still in Sag season, but you know, we want to enter this in knowing by knowing this, because this, once you know, there's no time that exists. You shift this in like seconds, okay? Not maybe seconds, I'm joking. But, you know, if you've done the work, then you can see how fast then you can shift because you will have times where you might want to fall back into those, those patterns, but there's something here. And I think this is the next this card coming. So let me just hold <laughs> off all my breath here. <laughs> all right. So perfect. So we were in the shadows and we're walking into the light. Oh yes, emotional fulfillment. Okay, so I, I, I love this because you see here, we're in the fives, okay? Here we we're high on the level of self-sabotage, but we're, oops, we're jumping. You saw, you saw my little mat. We're jumping, just like some of you, you might, that could be Pisces energy. Um, okay, you could be a Pisces rising, Pisces, moon, sun, whatever, but here this is more for sun, but definitely I felt like a jump, it's just, it's flip-flop, you just, the coin just get shifted, and all of a sudden you see so much clearer, and there's just so much that gets unburdened out of your auric field, okay? We have the seven of air with seven of swords, you definitely had a lot of and it's funny because here I felt more a lot of things inward. When we're reaching the seven of swords, those are more like outside energies. Okay. And I feel that what you need to see is that you were maybe taking some of some of those patterns, almost like reinforce what was occurring on your outside. But if it's a trauma and hasn't been resolved, it could have led into almost like victim mentality, which called you to self-sabotage. But because it was very hard to break free, because there was a lot of reinforcement of what others were repeating to you, because there were repeating patterns that were a lie about who you truly are. 
okay? Especially I'm feeling like with this goose energy, kind of like being played a lot, okay? And, and going back to square one, it's like, it's like you had to understand why I feel this is important for you to, to understand this pattern because when it's going to show up and you're going to feel like, oh, maybe I give up and I be, go back to square one. I start from scratch again. And it's telling you, no, 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 just pay attention. Maybe there's some negative energies or negative tendencies to think about yourself a certain way, but that's not the truth of you, who you are. Okay, that's not the truth of who you are. You're a star. Okay, water signs, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. There is definitely some type of aura that wants to come forward. That that feel that you know you have. Because, you know, you jump from this darkness to something very emotionally strong. And now I see almost because of the placement of this, this okay, that there there's almost like a, a new ability to see very clearly and discern when people are not being honest or the dishonesty or the lack of authenticity, not just in people, but maybe in certain decisions or certain actions that you need to take, okay? Because people are mirrors, okay? And you were probably getting a lot of feedback that were mirroring very strongly your unhealed traumas and patterns, Okay, so those are the last, you know, um, energies, like I feel like this is the last fading of this, because water signs, water elements, you've been getting this um, in some of the previous reading, I remember this, okay, and you're getting to the bottom of this. Let's get a goddess message for you. Okay, wow, you definitely had to tap into your inner child again. Okay, this is interesting. This is something I've done for the last two days and I've had so much fun connecting to the emotions of my dreams, my visions as a child that ultimately I am seeing that I am fulfilling at this time and I've always done it. And it's almost like now I can see it clearly. I thought I, thought I was lost in the past, sometimes, not always, but I, I remember chasing, pursuing this feeling. And this is the feeling of your vision, okay? And some of you, this is definitely, I don't know why, but it's like you were divine, divinely born and birthed under certain, like certain stars that wanted to activate something sacred for you to birth and for you to uniquely express, okay? But it needed a lot of energy back to yourself. Okay, let's see the message. No matter what you've done and no matter how many mistakes you have made, Kelly is here for you always. Yours is the safety and sanctuary of her divine love. She is your soft place to fall and your kindest and most enthusiastic advocate. Let her shift your experience from endless task and ever greater expectation into sweet relief and comforting connection. I feel that this is where here, there was probably a repetition of attracting, if you had like, for example, empath narcissism dynamics, okay? Whether it was with your parents or early on in your friendships, relationship with people, okay? It's, it's probably rippled again and again and again and again. And that made you very tired. <clears throat> yeah, oof. Maybe also self-sabotage the way you thought about yourself. Why is this happening to me again? What am I not doing right? Okay, but it's shifting. So let's go into that exciting phase because I feel like 2024 is just oh, very much different. Now, this last card <laughs> came. Oh my God. So we have another shadow for the last, uh, the last two weeks of Capricorn season. Okay, I love this. Temptation. I'll tell you why. I love this. Because this is almost a call for you. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Do not go back. Do not go back. Whatever you've transcended and whatever truth you uncovered, do not go back to those old 
uh, patterns. Some of you might be even relationships. You see, especially with that heart. Okay. I really feel that this is, is there a quote about this? It's almost like, um, you know, when people benefited from the old version of you, the wounded, unhealed, unaware, undiscerning version of you, they were taking away that gold, your gold, your light, that light that shines in the dark. So it came strongly as a caution sign. Do not go back. Do not go backwards. Fully acknowledge your potential. Fully acknowledge the love that you are. Okay? All right. Now we can move on. <laughs> All right, my little water elements here. Oh, I feel, I feel. Okay, this is, this, is this too much? Okay, what's not? Maybe not. All right, I'll indulge. Will I? Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, I can see that this, there's a story here. I can feel a story. The Three of Waters. Let's look at the story that you want to tell. Okay, this one I feel is off the shark now. That's it. To a fire. Oh, yeah, baby. I can feel it. All right. Shh, Audrey. <laughs> For a fire. Oof. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My little dog, Gigi. Well, little. She's not little. <laughs> Nine of swords in reverse. Nine of air. Okay. Ten of pentacles. And the tower in reverse. Okay. All right. I don't even have enough space for this. So, I feel there's some type of alignment here. Okay, there might be, when I said some type of alignment, let's see what Kali wants to say. Maybe some of you, there's something about a placement, a transit that's happening for you in your chart that is very important for those last two weeks, okay? So beginning of 2024, let's see what, it could be the Kali placement some of you you guys that those Kali goddesses readings are have been like super powerful I've been loving uh being able and honored to uh deliver those messages let's see what we have here because I feel this is just yeah this is a transit oh look at this look at this let's read this ah check your boundaries and affirm your right to express and receive both kindness and respect. Embrace your softer side and your ability to stand up for yourself. You are a unique being and you do not need to conform to stereotypes. As you relax into your authentic self, the best method to accomplish what is needed shall spontaneously arise from within. Okay, so I like this because some of you, it's going to be a little bit of a shock as far as, you know, being almost like a rebirth. We had the child here and it's, it's cautioning you not to go back in the old mental prisons. It's also telling you very strongly because here I'm feeling called that this is the heart and mind coherence. There is a destructuring about how you use to unite, because this is the four of wands, this is unity, this is the, the marriage of, uh, of feminine and masculine, this is creativity, this is inspiration, but it's coming from the depth of how much you've worked. It's almost like I'm feeling like almost an earthquake. And that could be something that you feel in your vibration, because it's trying to show, it's like almost as if, if you were like carrying some clay, you know, a, a, that was constricting you, like this body suit. Some of you could have been also <laughs> goddess Medusa. 
Okay, Medusa is very strong in terms of teaching you what type of foundation you need to build your principles and your life on because when you go astray from this, this literally makes it crumble, okay? It makes you crumble, but also when you actually em embody this, gives crumbles away the things that are no longer needed, okay? So that's something that I love because we have here in the mind, keeping this three of cups, celebrate, celebrate this phase, celebrate the year, celebrate what you've achieved in 2023, celebrate and make great plans because whether it is something I feel for some of you, imagine I feel bucket list. I feel like forget about money, forget about the means Put down where you would like to go, what things you would like to do, because this wish is being heard. And this wish and those wishes are in alignment with your authentic self. And it's almost like the more you let yourself dream the dream and celebrate how far you've come, the more this version will emerge and shake emerge okay i love this and this is where here we have the tension because it's almost as if here with the 10 of earth the 10 of pentacles what your riches your foundation comes from overcoming what used to grieve you what used to hurt you sadden you it's almost like it is just such a powerful powerful emergence but you need to address some of the things that we mentioned okay there's some major um shift in your aura for you know i i didn't pull cards for as far as the frequencies um but i really feel that you know um anything that has to do with auric health and wealth is definitely great for you um, water elements. Go and wander in that playlist and find your gold. You are it. You are it. And you're discovering it and it's going to shake a lot of people's ground and yours as well, but it's going to let something so much greater. It's almost like you can't even imagine, but let yourself dream it. Let yourself have fun with it. Um, especially after you've you've done a lot of this shadow work and you know uh, removing those mental cages and prisms. So that's what I have for you, water signs and elements. Thank you so very much. Please don't forget to like this video. It supports the channel to grow. Namaste. Fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Let's see what we have for you in Capricorn season. What messages wants to come through December 22nd, 2023 to January 20th, 2024? Okay, so from what I've kind of gathered from the other uh, piles and signs, we're going to do the first two weeks and then the last two weeks, kind of like this phase, uh, you know, approximately and see what energies, especially that those first two weeks, I think this is why my higher self was guiding me to do this. We're going to have still that Mercury retrograde. So probably some interesting um, energies. Yeah, I'm doing things differently for you. Okay, I love it. But okay, not what I had planned, but okay. <laughs> All right. I feel this is something for you, um, fire signs, you know, letting yourself surrender to the unfolding of what is meant for you. What we have here, yes, messenger of water. Definitely there's, you've been receiving and you're going to continue receiving through this phase a lot of divine synchronicities, divine confirmation that you are on the right path towards something that you're seeking now. I don't know if you guys ever seen when those little uh, seahorses give birth, but this gives birth to an uncountable amount of little babies. Okay, so there's definitely um, 
a message here for you to continue following your heart, following your intuition, especially with the water, as far as achieving something that is dear to your heart in those two uh, first weeks of that season. Oh, wow. This is not small what you are being promised. There's a keyhole here. This is the first time that I'm seeing this. Oh my God, I've had this deck for like five years, six years, I don't know. <laughs> okay, there's some, there's your frequency seems to be very powerful in ways that can really change the world. Of course, we know that when we change ourselves, we're offering that vibration to others. Everything that you're able to overcome becomes a gift. But I feel like there's something about this vibration that I want to ask, and that's going to be revealed. Okay, the page of fire in the reverse, the page of wands. Okay, maybe some of you in the past, we'll pull more cards about this, but let's, let's review what's being said. Impatience. Impatience with a fire element is very common. Maybe aggressi aggressivity, uh, competition, you know. Um, there could have been, I'm seeing with the full moon, there could have been something that exploded um, the last full moon. Or something that could be revealed in that upcoming full moon, because that's going to be in that phase. Oh, yeah. There's some type of revelation that is part of the key. December 26. Hmm. I haven't channeled yet uh, this full moon reading, but believe me, it's going to be up and on this channel. <laughs> Especially now that I see it strongly with this white tiger. Something uncommon. Something that calls for resilience, persistence, courage. Mm -hmm. in the reverse the wheel of fortune okay so we're gonna we're gonna pull all this but it seems like the, a change needs to occur for this full moon it's going to be a breakthrough this is when the sun and the moon are in opposition and that means the sun shines its light on the moon and this creates a major you know reflection and an ability and an opportunistic time for you to see the things you didn't see in the past. I keep, oh my God, oh my God, like a live happening. This is, this is itchy. This is money incoming. This is some, okay, that's new. I love how I, I am such an empath. <laughs> I'm like getting messages from my whole entire being. Uh, yeah, and it's growing. Oof. Okay, the more the more I, I pay, like it's almost the more I tap into this flow, the more I feel it. You might have had uh, some resistance to receiving. Okay, let's. Okay, but there's just just a lot incoming. Okay, let's move through this. Queen of Air. Queen of Swords. Some type of divine wisdom. Some type of wisdom. Some of you, you could be connected to um, Medusa. in Because um, uh, the, the more I kept on saying wisdom, I kept on hearing Athena. That could be your palace placement. An asteroid that speaks of divine wisdom. Now, Medusa, I've been channeling the wild feminine energy goddesses and there is medusa that was you know a high priestess in the temple of wisdom there's something that needs to be revealed oof oof uh, there's something close to your heart and it's on the it's the left side like the feminine feels itchy because they're just almost like blocked energy blocked stagnant but it's coming to life okay so i'm gonna use my intuitive night goddess tarot here this is usually my deck for any type of shadow work okay revolution if i'm not mistaken this one is the tower 
This is interesting. We had some major, some of you, if you, uh, you know, um, maybe have, okay, I'm getting it. If you have a water moon natally, you might want to watch. There's might be a message for you in the water message. Okay. Because they had the tower. I just, it just feels it. Okay. There's something, but there's some major breakthrough around the warrior of wands around some type of inspiration, action, spirit of pentacles, some type of growth, but growth from wisdom. You know, I feel that it's very important for you fire signs that uh, you review certain skills that you developed from the your hardship this is this is it almost feels like you know maybe some of you uh, you had to live abroad and you had to learn new languages or you had to you lost a job and you had to pick up a new job and they trusted you in an area that you never had experience on it and you managed and you actually excelled there's something about that that you're not fully harnessing but once you do things are going to shift let's get a goddess message okay Okay, all right. So here, <clears throat> the goddess is the rising sun marking the ending of darkness and the replenishment of life force after illness or devastation. She creates a clean slate and a fresh start. She protects and preserves that which is worthy of the heart. She shines in a perpetual state of divine beauty and radiance, attracting to us the most supportive and honoring circumstances. And I was going to say humans. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> but I feel that, um, and this is interesting because it does relate a little bit to some of the message uh, for the water. But so it will speak to some of you to a deeper level if you go and check out that part of the video. But it is about harnessing, you know, the past, the dark, the whatever was hard in the past and, and honoring what it has taught you in a ways that's going to really make you shine in different ways. There's an evolution. There's an evolution through time. I feel that some of you, you may want to review soul fragments. I'm going to write it. Soul fragments for the, uh, so that's aura and health also. Uh, your aura, health and wealth. You might want to review soul fragments, uh, retrieval. Because those experiences may have, that's the tower, may have shattered in, and you're not seeing all the pieces together as a whole, okay? This is, this is finally moving. This is finally moving because you're seeing the light. You're seeing the spark. You're seeing, you know, how abundantly creative and you're allowing that feminine energy. I feel like you had probably some feminine energy blocks, okay? It could have been... Again, past conditioning, negative conditioning, definitely. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me take some notes for you. Yeah. Uh, why am I taking this deck? All right, we want to continue with this deck. Taking some notes. I feel that has to do with what I was saying. 
okay, I'm, I'm literally itchy on my side, on my left side. Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so um, I know it's not a parrot, but it has very. I I heard parrot, so I feel this is a card that came reversed. There was maybe some type of sadness, some type of um, resistance, or the way you related to maybe being single. I'm hearing maybe singled out, some type of wound around being singled out or being single or the way you live your life that is very unique. There could have been a problem with that. And that could have been something that you didn't realize, but you had to forge the path forward. Okay, there's definitely here something very unique that you have to offer as a vibrational gift to the world, okay? So now I can move on to the next two weeks that are the end of that season. Wow, it felt it felt as if there is maybe with the parrot some type of way you speak of certain circumstances of yourself or others that could have been a block. Maybe people didn't perceive you as you were truly but it was probably backed up by, you know, obviously stories and things that you felt were justified. But I feel that there's something you're moving into that is so much greater and so much different. Yeah, look at this. Your authentic self. So after this 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 two weeks that feel like there's a lot that the divine wants you to harness that those valuable lessons with that mercury retrograde that is reviewing this and the way you maybe speak of yourself speak of your experience that change the vibrational gateways of what can be for you something more in truth and something that is going to be healing but just more letting you shine shine like you deserve, okay? Wow, the four of wands, the four of fire. Your creativity, those two weeks entering 2024 are freaking blasting. It's just amazing. You're going to get some major renewal of your Kundalini because it just feels like it's flowing. You're in alignment. Wow, I, I mean, I, you know what? Fire signs, you had like a little bit of resistance here in that those first two weeks, but as you're moving on, it's just unleashed. It's very powerful. You have the nine of water. You're just, you're allowing yourself to feel the fulfillment of whatever you've accomplished those two weeks, but also through this whole year. Diamond, look at how big this diamond is. You're multifaceted. I feel like maybe some of you, you went many directions Maybe people felt like you were scattered. There's definitely an influence in the past of how people perceived you that could have altered, uh, but that give you a lot of priceless lessons. But it did alter how you felt about yourself and just led you towards different paths instead of you know going straight to it. But there's nowhere. Uh, there's always divine detour. So there's this this. Everything that you went for a detour, you came with another gift. You came with another power. And that's probably why there could have been, I feel like with the parrot, some gossip, some envy um, towards you and your capability. Fire signs here. Because it's almost like you can't help yourself but make lemonades out of lemons. <laughs> it's just, it's, you just know how to do that. Mm-hmm. Oh, I mean, I, stop, <laughs> stop, <laughs> stop, <laughs> 10 of pentacles, 10 of earth, you're just, you're just building a new foundation for yourself, a new foundation for the life ahead, a new foundation for everything that you deserve, you had to go through this phase, oh, there might be another card, it's there, okay, oh, six of earth, I love it. This is, oh my God, do you remember that itch? Jackpot! <laughs> Jackpot! It's finally 
leaving. So you're finally going to get what you deserve because the, the, you're going to unlock what was blocking in the way you were giving maybe too much and not receiving enough. But that was also, you know, blocked maybe in terms of your expectations. Maybe you had certain high expectations, but it was, you had to shift certain things. You had to shift. I feel your heart. I had the Leo that stood out um, more because I have a dice here with Leo. Um, it stood out, but Leo in the Chinese medicine is connected to the heart meridian, you know, and you had to really know deeply your heart and uh, trust your own sense of love, of value. Okay. You had to work for this, you know, but it's not work just like physically work. It's just like you had to really, um, you know, clean, <laughs> clean a lot of false perception. I feel that some of you, you could have suffered. That was a card I received when I discovered about the uh, imposter syndrome. And that I was just blown away because just the name of that syndrome like scared me and I could not even read it and read about it for two days. But when I did, oh my God, it was such a breakthrough because I did not know that was something that was influencing me as far as, and how it comes about. So don't get yourself being dissuaded just by the name of the syndrome. This is something that can really keep you from moving forward. So definitely here, fire signs. This, I have an article on my Telegram as far, and you have my Telegram link in the description if that's something that's interesting. Okay, I usually put some of those extra videos and links and articles that I like on my Telegram. And I don't stay very active, but the things that matter, I put there so I don't, I can find them for myself. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh my God, it starts with your heart. Okay, your heart cannot be contained or constrained but by what has taken place in your life. Yes, your heart's wisdom and empowerment is growing and soon you shall have the wisdom and courage to accomplish something significant to your soul's journey. Trust in the invisible workings of divine love in your life. Let your heart be at peace as it guides you onward. I love this. Fire signs. That was amazing. Thank you so much for being here. Please don't forget to like. It supports the channel to grow and I will see you soon for that full moon. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Bye. Air sun signs. So Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. All right, let's see what we have for you for Capricorn season, December 22nd, 2023 to January 20th, 2024. The way it's been going so far, I don't think we're going to change this. We're channeling the first two weeks of this energy, especially because we have this Mercury retrograde that's going on and affecting this phase. And then the last weeks of that season. All right, let's see. And we'll be in 2024. So that's pretty exciting. Okay, what are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? I was going to say Aquarius. Let's not blame it on Aquarius. But <laughs> that's... if you're an Aquarius, give me a comment. <laughs> All right, we have here love. This is the lovers in the good tarot. This is love. We have this energy and I feel that, okay, it's, it could be self-love. It could be a relationship. It could be a lot of things. This is interesting. That's the first time that I see um, this Leo and fire. I did not know as far as this association. Maybe some of you, there could be some fire sign involved in this energy. Let's see where it's leading us. All right, air, you are very mysterious. What's that all about? Okay, the seven of fire in reverse. This is interesting because this card in this deck spaceship is about uniqueness. This is a seven of wands and usually that's about people breaking your boundaries. This is someone that needs to defend themselves. This is a unicorn. Hello? 
okay? So you're, you have something very mysterious about you, something very unique about you, and there's definitely here a call to make sure that you know this about yourself, especially in this Mercury retrograde phase where it seems to be, I'm hearing the word priceless, yeah, there's just, just so much that you have to offer and so much that when you do is meant to be offered to others. It's just almost like it's so, it feels like a win, win, win situation. It feels like you need to know that. Okay. So with this energy could have been past relationships that affected you okay and all of a sudden i'm, I'm feeling libra here <laughs> okay that's seventh house energy we know this okay this is relationships and interestingly in esotericism um the seventh house is more about the relationship between the lower self and the higher self and that means where we have to transcend the ego Okay, really showing that others are just mirrors. They're just objects of, of reflection for what we need to grow. And I don't mean objects literally, but I mean just like a mirror, a reflection of a consciousness and how to get there. But it's not, people are not meant to be your reason for happiness or for love. So maybe there's a codependency here in the past. Okay, King of Air. I, this is interesting, and that might not resonate for everyone, but I felt it, so I'm going to sh share it. Some of you, you might have entered a relationship with another air sign, or it doesn't have to be, but someone that had a mask on, someone that just didn't play. You know, it's almost like someone that knew maybe some of your weaknesses, some of your tendencies may, and it just kind of um, either helped you out of it or maybe played you around it, okay? I just, I had to mention it. It just feels like it could have been some, because we're talking about love here, could have been an influence, whether it's negative, positive, it's going to be different for everyone. Let's acknowledge this messenger of fire. But I feel that no matter what, this was meant to activate something greater in you. That is part of... It's almost like some of you, if you had to overcome this year in 2023, I feel it's almost like it's been a journey, y'all. <laughs> it's been a journey, okay? Um, take into account everything you had to transcend, and especially the last year for some reason, especially if it's around a specific relationship, good or bad, or still together or not, it doesn't matter, but... This was almost written in the stars because all of a sudden I'm seeing the star here. And this is more of a star of David, which reminds me of the Merkaba. So there was an activation for you to balance your yin yang. Okay, definitely. So I'm going to put this as well uh, for you as a note. Okay, I, I'm going to put in the description some of the frequencies that kind of, you know, uh, show up through this reading. Let's get a goddess message. No, actually, you know what? I want to I wanna see a little bit more of the shadows of this. Let's dive. Let's deep dive, okay? Air signs. Let's deep dive because I want to make sure that you acknowledge this. Because when it's reversed, there's something, this first, first, there's something for you to see this, and for you to acknowledge, for you to discern. Mm, both cards came in reverse. Meditation and strength. Some of you, maybe you had to, whatever happened, it had to teach you how to have a different mindfulness about yourself, maybe meditate altogether, but also um, reflect, reflect on what was happening. And the strength reverse, and I feel that they could have been empath narcissistic. Uh, dynamics here definitely the super empath playlist the narcissism the boundaries psychic boundaries psychic manipulation I felt it with this shrewdness a little bit in the air um, and it could be something that you were carrying also and that needed to be reflected so you can transcend it 
something that maybe made you feel, um, you know, kind of a narcissist, not narcissistic. Oh, maybe some of you, that was part of the wounds, okay? But it feels more as sarcastic. There's, there's just this a distortion in the thoughts that needed to be overcome. And that could have been coming from um, maybe your very unique personality, your unique preferences, um, maybe the way you chose your relationships, you know, maybe going towards people that you need to fix or support, just a tendency. There's a tendency here that we had to acknowledge that also gave you something very unique. You know, you could be a healer, you could be an empath, you could, you could be someone that has a great psychic ability, psychic gifts to offer. Maybe you're very good at mindset coaching, but there's like, there's something as far as what you had to go through and that you're reviewing at the beginning of Capricorn season, that is going to enlighten you so much and that is going to spark your journey in ways you can't even imagine. But let's ask the goddess Kali here. Uh, I recently read about Kali being very connected to Kundalini awakening. So, oh, I never saw this card before. I love it. Beauty, 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 beauty. Ooh, maybe it's part of the beauty that you have to see inside because it fell here in that uniqueness of yours. When momentum is building and you don't know how to stop fueling the fire or reverse the damage, Kali brings grace and freedom from negative patterning and stubborn mindsets resistant to change. See, there, there, some of you may have had some type of mind ego battle, okay? And it could have been playing mind games, okay? But there, there was, there's, there's definitely something shifting. Now is a powerful time for spiritual work and healing practices. Mm -hmm. This is the time and much growth can come from it. The storm shall be gentled and you shall emerge unharmed. Okay, so there's definitely here, some of you, it's the end of the year, there's the holidays, it could be a hectic season. If you, you know, this is for a collective, so there's many people. Um, but I'm seeing that really tapping into self-love, self-care, and harnessing the fact that you have unique needs, unique ways to perceive things, unique um, gifts, and making sure that you're discerning of your environment, of your relationship, of what's best for you, especially through this time. And that means also slowing down, okay? I feel as some of you could have been uh, some type of blocks in the past, you know, slowing down. Now let's see for the end of that season, so the last two weeks of that Capricorn season, so more stepping into 2024, baby. Okay, how we're stepping in. Oh, we're stepping in. Oh, gee. Hey, air signs. Didn't I just tell you that? Patience. You need to be patient. I feel that there's just, um, you know, the, the thing with the air element, it can be very electric. It can be very electric. And one thing that I'm seeing for you is I'm being reminded of a reel I created, wow, maybe last year around the eclipse season of March, okay? So at least, you know, it's like at least nine months ago. So I feel that there's maybe something, maybe some of you, it's even towards becoming a parent, you know, and it's like, oh, but where is that person that didn't work out or should I stay with that person? But it seems that there's something about a cycle, a cycle of self-love, a cycle of harnessing that unique beauty that you are. Because I feel a lot of beauty. I feel a lot of beauty, but I don't feel like you're seeing it because you're not meditating enough on it. It's not your physical beauty. It's the beauty of certain qualities that you have. And that I feel that maybe you don't see anymore because maybe you were in negative, toxic relationships, okay? 
Let's see what else. The Six of Water. This is the Six of Cups. This is about childhood. This could be also a coming back of relationship, a comeback of love. There's something about, again, time lasting against all times and space. There's something that is meant for you to recover as far as an ability is here we see um, lotus flowers. So really a reemergence from a phase that could have been hard, but it's saying it's like for the season, for the next cycle to come and that 2024, you need to step into that grace. Oh my God, I see now even the clock on her chest. Okay, it's wow. Some of you, like if there was any type of doubt whether you're going to find a relationship or not, or if maybe some of you, you're in a relationship, you don't know, it's not committed. This is definitely something meant to happen in terms of love. You're the first uh, sign that really had love as a major influence here, okay? Major in relationships. Wow. Okay, let's, let's, oh, three of fire. Okay, I, I have to go in and elaborate on this because I'm feeling it could be someone from far. It could be someone foreign. It could be maybe you were in a long distance and it's going to shift. Okay. But if it's not about a person you're definitely embarking into a more authentic path. As you develop skills of reflection and inner strength, you're going to expand your horizon. I wouldn't be surprised. Maybe you have plans to travel. Plans that are maybe going to help you meet that person, a person. And if it's not a person, an opportunity. An opportunity of something, you see, it's under the uniqueness. This was almost like some of you might be your dream job. Oh my God, there's just so much greatness that's coming for this Capricorn season. I love it. I love it. We have the sun that came in reverse. And we're going to pull some cards for this, okay? Because we have to see why we could have a block here. Why could we have a block? What is not being illuminated? A lot of the piles had this full moon energy that came forward. So now, as I'm channeling this, this is the end of Sagittarius season and December 26. So more in this period of time where we saw a little bit more of struggle, there's going to be a full moon occurring. Okay, December 26. So maybe there's... Once I channel this message, there's going to be more clarity around this for you, especially. I will do the full moon reading according to your moon sign. Okay, we're doing this according to your sun sign. Okay, wow. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Ten of pentacles in the reverse. Oh, wow. You know what it reminds me? I would have not seen it if I did not know about it. It reminds me the tale of a certain vibration of crystals that helped you open the Akash, the Akashic records from the Atlantean times. Okay, there's something, so definitely go and check out my Soul Fragments uh, Light Retrieval. I am going to put in the description some of the frequencies that came up strongly or playlist. Okay, this is in your aura and wealth playlist. But it feels like this is, then this is why. It's like there's a piece missing. Some of you, it could be that you are longing for someone, longing for a dream, and it's coming. But you have some piece of information here. Can we get more? Can we get more details about that? Eight of Pentacles in reverse. You have to want it. You have to want the Eight of Pentacles. It reminds me a little bit of that meditation card. I feel that some of you, it's, and especially, oh, this is interesting. I'm seeing the peacock feathers. Your third eye. There's something, it's almost like working on your chakra rebalancing, healing, okay? 
um, definitely a, the work that you have done on yourself needs to be seen and appreciated, but it still needs to be cultivated because we have this patience. We have a lot of things. It's almost like, don't try to rush your blessing and your miracle, even in terms of relationship. Where is that person and trying to make this thing happen or, or trying to rush into getting married if you are in a relationship or having a kid or don't rush anything because it seems that the more you cultivate your own field of fulfillment and beauty and harness your own power and your own rituals in terms of, you know, connecting with your inner guidance, your, your feminine and masculine and higher self, the more what comes out of the situation feels flawless. And I feel some of you, is, it's, it's almost like... It's perfection from the from the senses. It's not what it looks like. It feels like perfection. It feels like everything you wanted. Because some of you, I feel like you could have a lot of things that looks like what you want. And yet they don't seem to give back that same vibration. But it's because of a certain perception that needs to shift a certain recollection that needs to come forward. Something from this lifetime. It doesn't have to be past life. It actually, a lot of the past lives, they ripple in those, those present lives. So you will, you will learn how to recognize this. Let me, I'm going to get one more card for you. And that's actually going to be a goddess card. Let's see. Some of you, you may want to look and check out my um, Wild Feminine goddess special promotion i have it until the end of this year so it might be something that helps you i feel this is the card because of this flower energy we have relief and it came reverse so let's take this in and, and this one came just after and i feel like there is something i, I you know what what i'm pretty is there a choice you have to make? Is there a choice? There could be a choice. Maybe some of you leave a situation, stay in a situation. Let's see what you get as an advice. Relief shall come swiftly. Soon you will see things differently. Remember, we said that. You are going to be liberated from the struggle you are currently experiencing. Be true to yourself. Cultivate that love, okay? And your life path. Don't rely just on what you want to manifest with others, okay? And you will attract the way forward. Attract the way forward is what I was trying to channel for you, okay? That feels like it's so much flaw, flawless perfection. You know, it just comes naturally. You will overcome all oppositions. Be released into improved circumstances and be supported to bring your sacred path into fruition. Okay, so this was <clears throat> feeling blocked. Okay, and this, as I feel, is going to support us. This is interesting because now we have the root chakra on the third eye. So you definitely have some type of past trauma that is blocking your third eye. Okay, some of you... If you are interested, I didn't mention to any other pile, but I feel for you, that could be a valuable. I do have a YouTube music membership, so a level up where I have some exclusive uh, inner child, inner wisdom activation from the goddesses that could be helpful. But if you resonate well with the frequencies I, I, I engineer, what is, oh, and it talks about fears. Face your fears. For it is the right time and you are ready to overcome them. You will be given the power to fulfill your heart's desires. Embrace your path with confidence. Healing around belonging and abundance is taking place within your soul. You are spiritually protected from toxic energies. Remember that was the past. We're, we're trying to remove this and close that chapter. Recognize your inner divine badass. And commit to your dreams with conviction. You definitely were influenced and are scared to repeat and maybe scared to lose someone, scared to lose something. But no, no, no. You have all the power 
we're shifting this energy, we're bringing that light, we're able to face the fears because we feel supported, we feel guided, you're here watching this, I have many tools, this is why I'm so thankful that, you know, God's through me, allowed me to channel those supportive frequencies, because when we have energies where we're seeing those things, I feel so much better than I know that after I finish this, you have things to think about, but also frequencies you can meditate with, okay? That's what I have for you. It was 2022, tw two, 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 two for you. This is my number for quantum leaping and quantum shift. Definitely, if you see repetition of twos through the Capricorn season, air signs, this is a manifestation of your supercharged power. So harness it and go for it for this season. I'm sending you many blessings, much love and light, and please don't forget to like this video. It supports the channel to grow. Namaste. Thank you.